Hi guys and welcome back to Female Mind Mastery. I'm your coach and host Kirsten Price, joined by our special guest coach Marcus Linden. Hello guys. Hi, well many of you know I'm a sex coach profoundly, but I'm also consistently a serial seducer. Something I've done with women for a very long time, but today I want to teach you a new system, a dating system, so you can date much more consistently. Now we're going to go through this through the three main steps that are very important, so listen carefully. The first one is making it feel safe and secure. And then we're going to go down and talk about being emotionally connected to her. And then, very importantly, making her feel passionately desired. Now, if you follow these steps closely, I can guarantee that it's very possible to seduce a woman in under 10 minutes. So, let's start with the first one, making her feel safe and secure. Now, there are 10 laws to confidence. Now, let's start with number 10. Confidence cannot be measured. Now, you know when someone walks in a room and, you know, they, they can appear a certain way, you can't measure the level of confidence they have. They have, to, they have to pretty much give it to you, show you how they are. Do you, know when you, do you find that when someone walks in a room, you can kind of gauge what kind of person they are through just their aura or the way they hold themselves? Um, sometimes, I mean, to a certain extent, but I think anyone can appear confident. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like an out, an mm -hmm. outer shell, like an exterior sure. mask um, in a way. But it doesn't mean that they're necessarily confident from the inside. Right. So I it's guess like until yes, until you actually speak with someone and the way that they they talk to you and mm -hmm. all that, and that's how you can judge how confident a person is. But I don't think you can really tell just by from looking just by at looking someone. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what we're trying to say is you know confidence. You can't measure someone's confidence. So how can you really gauge someone's you know uh, actual confidence within themselves? And a lot of it is to do with body language. Body language is a really big giveaway to a lot of things. You know, whether they're, you know, arrogant or whether they are confident or whether they're shy or whether they really don't really want to be somewhere or whether they're, you know, missing someone. All these things can be shown through just the body language themselves, the eyes and the way they hold themselves in a the room. So a very important part of understanding confidence is that really knowing, especially as a person, what you are and how you are. And as, a, as you guys at home, being confident is a very, very important part to this whole system. So, you know, when you walk into a room, you want to make yourself feel a certain way. You want to make people see you a certain way. So they may not be able to measure your confidence, but they will be able to see that there is some confidence within you. And it's a very, very important thing for you to do as a man to appear confident, even if you're not at this point, because it's something that can be built. And people can actually help you with your confidence. You think like just compliments in themselves. I mean, from a woman's point of view, if a man compliments you for your skin or your shoes or your hair, that, that helps you in general with your confidence inside. Absolutely, yeah. I think it, it definitely makes you feel better and mm -hmm. it makes you feel accepted, which can bring out your inner confidence. Exactly. And acceptance um, is everything because, yes. I mean, a lot of people, there are many men and women out there that feel like they don't fit in. And I think everyone wants to be part of a, a gang or fit yeah. into something, you know what I'm saying? So I think if you can make it feel like you belong and you fit into you know, a group of people, it, it's just the same as if you walk into a party and you, know, you come on your own. When people turn around and stare at you because you've walked in, you, you're singled out. You kind of yeah. feel like, shit, you know, am I wearing the right thing? And I look funny, is my hair a mess? <laughs> Straight away, you, you're worried about, is there something wrong with you? The idea is to strut into that party like you own the place and you feel good about yourself, you openly say hi to people in a certain manner, you know, you're not closed off, and all these things can really help you when we talk about dating to make a woman feel very attracted to you, very kind of, you know, drawn into you, in fact, because when you walk through that door, you know, first impressions last. And I think if you can kind of show that in the very first moment you walk through a door for you, or when you meet someone, that is a very long lasting, a memorable feeling for any woman to see a man come through and say, wow, I, I feel some energy from this from this guy. Absolutely. I mean, confidence is kind of what draws women to you, you know? Exactly. No one wants someone who's just a wallflower. Head down. And shy and, yeah. and just fidgety and nervous. You want exactly. to be head up, you know, shoulders back, just very, very confident. Exactly. And, yeah, like you said, first appearances mm -hmm. go a long way, and they do last. Definitely. So make sure you appear at least, at least. <laughs> confident while you're working on your inner confidence. You want to exude exactly. confidence. Exactly, without a doubt. Now let's talk about what's the next part, which is obviously number nine, confidence breeds success. Now that's a very, very true statement. In fact, I can't think anyone that hasn't been successful that was not confident. In fact, it does not make sense. It would not go hand in hand. Now you can look at, for instance, someone like Kirsten, very successful in her field, but why? Well, because not only does she look good, she shows that she has confidence and confidence makes other people, people feel confident in her abilities, whether it be 
as a coach, whether it be as a star, whether it be as a host, or whatever it is, if she was shy, she couldn't speak to people properly, they would not have the confidence to offer her particular opportunities to be the head of something or to run something or to do a certain type of job because they just don't feel that she has what it takes. But she tells them she has what it takes by her confidence level. So it's very important, don't you think? Well, give me some other ideas that, you know, confidence, how it can breed success. Because um, I think confidence makes people think that you're really strong. Mm -hmm. um, you're independent, you're trustworthy. Um, all these things kind of go hand in hand with confidence. If you're not um, confident people aren't going to trust you to get the job done. They're not going to say, oh, you know, I don't know. I just this think, person can take control of yeah, this situation. Yeah, absolutely. They need to know you can handle what you're going to throw at them. Mm -hmm. And Very someone true. who's not confident is not going to be able to handle anything like 